for success and I'm hungry for freedom. Today I want to share with you business ideas to start in the Gambia. I know I've gotten that a lot. Everyone calls or people I talk to, they ask me, so what are you going to do in the Gambia when you get there? What are you going to do for, for business? Um, I have a few ideas that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, maybe one or two, maybe one. I may start for myself, but we'll see how it goes. As time goes by, we still have time. So we plan on moving in April of uh, 2020, 2021. So I still have time. More ideas may come to me and things that I think would be easier. I want to be able to do some things surrounding my family. So uh, I may need help for my, with my boys. We'll see how it goes. So anything that you do, of course, any business that you decide to go in, you know, you have to put in the work. You have to put in the work. You have to be committed to providing quality for your customers and uh, everything else will fall into place, right? And with uh, the Gambia, which is a developing country, it is very easy to start something. No matter how many um, businesses are out there, you being a, the unique person that you are and you bringing a difference to, um, to the community and also solving the masses problem. A business idea that will succeed is a business idea that will bring solutions to the mass, right? Bring solutions to the people. So if it's something that, if, it, if that's the idea that you have, then definitely go for it and don't think about anything else on the outside. Don't think, oh, there are so many businesses, so mine may not succeed. As long The minute you start to doubt yourself, it may not work for you. So if that idea is in you, and you believe that it will work for you, then you put your all into it, your own spin, your own flair, right? And your own um, positivity into it, and it will definitely succeed. Um, all businesses, as I um, said, it's up to you to make it work. So my first idea, I have a few, a list written down about maybe five, and I thought I would share it with you. So transportation, number one. I've been hearing a lot on YouTube with other YouTubers who um, talk about the pros and cons in the Gambia. That's a way you could also get an idea as to what business you could start in the Gambia. When you listen to others and you hear those who are already there in the Gambia and they talk about what's there and what's not there, then you have an idea as to, okay, what can I do to solve whatever they're talking about, right? So one thing that I have heard many YouTubers talk about in the Gambia is, even the Gambian YouTubers, is uh, transportation. So that's something that is, um, that is a problem in the Gambia. So to solve that problem, you, that, that business can be started. So you either have one vehicle on the road, whether it's a car, whether it's a bus for a taxi, right? Or you could have multiple. So you could have a fleet of vehicles, either your cars or buses, whichever one it is, however far you could reach, right? How, how much uh, capital you have to start off, then that's something that you can think about doing. So you either have one car, where you say you, you yourself will go out and, and do taxi, or you could have a fleet of cars where you have many people working for you. That also will provide jobs for the people of the Gambia, right? Then number two, I have cleaning cleaning company so I've watched many African movies in my lifetime <laughs> I love I love watching African movies right so I've watched many and every time I in a home in an African home you see they have domestic help you see them so what am I terrible <laughs> right but we you know, that's not where we were going with those movies so many times you see they all have domestic help so that's, that means that that is something that is needed in, uh, in Africa, especially in the Gambia, where you have repatriates who are leaving and going to the Gambia. Obviously, they will not have family there, except um, if they bring in their own, like a family has a grandmother, so the grandmother can stay home with their kids while the moms and the dads go out to work. If that's not something that's possible, like myself and my husband and our kids, they don't have, I don't have a, a my, grand, my mom with me to take with me to the Gambia to take care of them. So definitely that's something I'll be needing. I'll be needing the help around the home while I go out to do business or I'll be needing help with the kids 
while they're at home. So that's something that we could think about doing when it, com when it comes to, um, when I say a client company, I'm thinking more towards a domestic help agency. So it's not just cleaning. You could have um, many people connecting you. So you would be the middleman between the homeowners and your, um, your staff. So you will provide them with cleaners, with cooks, babysitters, yard men, gate men, someone to do their groceries, people that could maybe um, do sewing, could help out with the sewing stuff like curtains and so on for the home, right? So you could include everything together or you could have just sent out one cleaner. Most times in those homes I see the cleaners are the ones who help with their kids and the cleaners are also the, one, the ones who cook. Some homes, according to how uh, their home is, uh, things are running, then you have a cook and a cleaner, and then you have someone looking after the home. So it depends on what each family wants, then that you are able to provide. So uh, having a cleaning agency where you connect a homeowner with, uh, with the help, that, that's an idea that you could um, look into, right? Then I have interior decorating. Uh, you could start a business with interior decorating, like um, decorating party rooms or even your homes. Most times, um, well, I'm not, I'm not very good at um, decorating. <laughs> My husband is good in that aspect. He, if, I, if I think to myself, okay, maybe I should change the way our chairs fit in our living room, and I would try and fix it a certain way, when I come back five minutes later, <laughs> I would see it in the exact way that it was, or a different way. My husband would always think, okay, maybe she did that. You know, she didn't do it right, I'm so he's going to turn it around. So he's the one who's always um, putting things in order, organizing and whatever. I am, um, I don't know. I mean, everybody has their strengths and their weaknesses, right? I am good at finances for my home, so I take care of my home's finances. Right? My husband is good at other things, so he takes care of whatever else he has to take care of. He is a better cook than I am, right? So he does most of the cooking. So we have our own, we each have our strengths. But if interior decorating is something that you love and something that you think you can do, you could go out to homes and help families make their homes beautiful. Or you could, if somebody's having a party, you could be the one decorating the room or the, or the banquet hall or whatever it is that that's happening that's something that you can look into wherever parties are being had been had then you can go in and be that person that will make the place look beautiful and whatever so that's an idea some ideas are big ideas where you could make millions and some ideas are just something that would um, provide for you and your family and uh, keep you going in the gambia number five i have clothing so i'm anticipating i'm excited about the day i'll be able to wear um, some beautiful dresses in the Gambia, right? Um, and I would love to be able to have someone I know I can go to, even in Canada. When I look around, I think about it, I have no one. I think there's one or two, there's one lady who used to sew for me, but she's kind of distance away from where I am now. And you don't find that much, except if you know people, right? So with clothing, I know definitely there are a lot of people who love doing that in Africa and I'm sure there would already be people who are doing that but uh, if that's something that you love doing you could take your skill and bring it to the Gambia and make money from from that right you could learn how to do those African dresses and if you can sew I think there's I don't think there's be a problem in learning how to do those African dresses and whatever and doing it with your own style and your own flair also I always talk about your own style and your own flair because you have to bring in something different from what your competition is bringing in. And that way you know that your customers love you for what you bring in and not because you are like everyone else, right? And uh, I was also thinking sewing doesn't have to be, when I say clothing, it could be sewing. You could have your own unique tailor shop. Or you could, instead of sewing outfits, you sew, you sew up um, home stuff like pillowcases, bed sheets. A fitted bed sheets, the whole the whole bed set, right? Then you have curtains. There are many things in the home that people may need you. Cushion covers may need you to sew for them. So you be you could have a instead of clothing, you you are doing stuff for the home. You could have your own whatever idea for clothing. And then finally, I have restaurant. So everybody in in the Gambia eats, right? And I'm sure a lot of people go out to eat. 
well you'd want to go out on a weekend with your family to enjoy time alone right to enjoy time together so that could be an idea for a business or having a restaurant one something that is unique i always stress on unique 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 you have to bring in something different from what everybody else out there there's many businesses that are already there but even if you come in and you bring in the same thing, the main important thing is to bring in something that is unique, something that is, has something different from what everyone else out there is doing. And there are so many more ideas that you could think of to start a business, whether on a large scale, whether on a small scale, that is up to you. But the only thing that I advise you, the only thing I encourage you to do is to do your research as to whichever business idea that you have in mind and you are bringing your own flair and your own spin, your own uniqueness into that business and you will succeed. So I hope uh, you were able to get something out of this to see what you can start. There are so many ideas that uh, you could come up with yourself um, that are out there. If you continue watching the YouTube videos of those who are over there, as I said, you'll get ideas as to what they are talking about, which are not in the Gambia that you could bring to the Gambia. Right, so I wish you success in your business idea, your business opportunity, whatever you start. I wish you success in that, and we'll see in the Gambia. Thank you guys for watching me, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, subscribe, uh, and uh, we'll see you again in my next video. All right, thank you. Bye, family. Now is my time to shine. Let's when your time comes, don't postpone it. When others doubt and out, you don't condone it. Truth be told, yourself is your toughest opponent. When your moment comes, grab hold and own it. Never let go, stand tall and hold tight. Overcoming obstacles is the objective in life.